Welcome to another Todd's Two Minute Tech Tip Tuesday. Brought to you by the National RV Training Academy. The largest hands-on RV training academy in America. Hey, for the last Tech Tip Tuesdays, we've been talking about cleaning the black tank. Now, one thing I want to talk about is when we are breaking down those solids, those are just break down organic solids. I'm bringing on Sue here from Royal Flush RV to talk about some of the stuff that this stuff doesn't break down. So first off, everyone say hello to Sue. Hi, everyone. Hey, I'm glad that you're here, Sue. So your, the name of your company is Royal Flush RV. Tell, tell everyone what you do. So I clean the black and the gray tanks. I do something called hydro flushing, which is basically power washing the insides of the black and the gray tanks. All right, so you got special equipment to go inside and clean um, the black tanks and gray tanks. So if you're cleaning those and we're using products, so obviously then we have certain things that are not being broken down. So stuff that's not organic, yes. right? Some of the questions were, you know, does this stuff break down toilet paper? Not necessarily because it's not organic. It, you know, toilet paper will kind of diminish a little bit, but that mm -hmm. causes problems. Mm -hmm. What else do we have that can cause problems that maybe aren't not organic? So that's to be the first thing. Why do we need professional cleaning from time to time? Well, there's a couple things going on. Some things is there's just buildup that's going to start happening over time. We get things like struvite, which is basically off-gassing of human waste. So it's right. it's like rock in there. From, from the mm -hmm. urine, right? Yeah, so it's from us. Yeah. We start it, and then it, it continues to go, and it off-gasses, and it can make sand, it can make rock, it can make, I mean, it can really mess up things, and it's heavy. Right. So it sits in the belly, and it just settles in there. Right. And so it, it, it's a, it, it comes out almost, like you said, as a rock or whatnot. And so uh, just simple water, a lot of times, may not get rid of it. No, okay. because, yeah, it's just the water might flow right over it, and it's just sitting in there, or it might have formed along the sides, stuck right. all over the sensors. Even sometimes, like, if we don't put enough water in there, even the organic stuff, the solids, those mm -hmm. kind of cause problems. Oh, as well. those will cause a big problem. Yes, they will yeah. get stuck, pyramids, clogs, a whole bit. Right. So understanding that from time to time, and it all depends. I know some of you will say, hey, Todd, I've been uh, camping for 20 years and I've never had a problem. Totally true. And uh, some of you, what it is, you know, it's just annoying that our uh, sensors are not yeah. reflecting what they should be, right? So, yes. you know, cleaning those off, that also would help clean off those sensors. You for know, sure. That, you know, to yeah. clean those off will work out. But for some of us, depending on what we eat, depending on the medicines we take, all of that, that changes everything inside that tank. And for some of us, we may need to have this professionally cleaned out mm -hmm. and have that pulled out. Um, let me ask you this, right? Because some of our uh, viewers always say, hey, well, show us. Anytime we talk about poo, they'd like to see samples. Yes. Do you have samples? I do actually have let's samples. Let's talk samples. All right. You want to see All right. Yeah. So let's talk about what she has found inside your holding tanks. So I found a lot of surprising things. And if I can capture them, I do. Because they're, they make good specimens to show what comes out. Right. So I see a lot of struvite. Right. I see the struvite that gets broken down into sand. I see some that's formed around the pipes. Um, I've also seen, um, I've actually seen sand. I had a whole bunch of sand recently, actual sand ah. that was in there that was not struvite because they run well water. They right. had no idea. Ah. Right? So the type of water coming in depends on where you're at. Yes. There may be, so that, they were probably also drinking that. They were, and they realized their filters were getting clogged nonstop, but they didn't realize it was settling in their, the belly of their tanks. Right. And it was so heavy that just dumping it was not going to clear it out. Right, because the water just goes over it. That sand forms, the water just goes over it, and yes. it begins to clog up even more. Yeah, okay. I call it the beach in right? there because it is. Son of a beach. All right, what else is in there? Have you found big So basically, I tend to see, first of all, just a lot of, I call it debris. So it could be any kind of debris, black and gray tanks, okay? okay. Black tanks are the ones people are worried about, but I got to be honest, I see some of the most stuff come out of the gray tanks. Right. And it's dirty and it smells terrible um, and it's messing up a lot of things in there. Have you found anything that was inorganic that should not have belonged in the tank in the first place? Well... I, I look, I look every time. I found one thing that I was not expecting a couple of weeks ago here, yeah. actually. Um, I found a tank biscuit. Ah. Uh -huh. Right? And my first. <laughs> I know everyone's thinking. A what biscuit. is a tank biscuit? Yeah. Yes. Um, so it's, it's basically that when they're cutting out the holes for the pipes and things, that materials, they leave it in, they left it in there. Right. And so you can see the cut marks on it. You can see everything. So. And if it's off in the corner, not a problem. But if it finds its way into your stinky slinky. Or the valve, wrong. if yeah. it gets stuck in there, it's going to, yeah, you don't want that in there. If we right. can. So it came out and I was, so my first question was, can I keep it? 
So, right. Because I keep that stuff and use it to show. <laughs> so with this, uh, you know, we're not indicating that everyone needs to have a professional cleaning, but right. there are there's a lot of random things that could cause for some people to need something like this more so than others, right? And it's yeah. it's it's a lot of variables out there. So yes. do you have any tips possibly, you know, for the individual? Okay, yes, you're 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 using stuff to keep it clean, but what are some tips that you tell your customers in order to keep that tank running fresh? Oh, a couple things that really, I guess we're talking black or gray. Black right? or gray. So right. black or gray. Big thing that I tell people is, um, number one, keep the tanks, keep the valves closed until you're ready to dump. Um, unless you've got an appliance like a washing machine or, or a dishwasher, because then you're going to need to keep it open while you're running it. Keep them closed. It keeps everything wet in there. It keeps your product in there. That will really help. Um, the gray tanks, the big thing is limit what you're putting down there. Right. Everything you're putting down there is making a little Petri dish, and it'll turn into black mold and fat, and you know it's got skin and hair and everything right. down there. So. And so this is where even having a large bowl to wash your dishes in, right? Yes. Put some water in there, some soap in there, wash your dishes in the bowl, take the mm -hmm. bowl Dump the water outside. Exactly. Right. Put a little strainer in the sink. That'll catch a lot. You'll be shocked at how much catches. Um, if you've got grease, wipe it off with a paper towel. Heck yeah. Paper. I mean, there's a I lot mean, of things. Just... All right. Anything else that you want to say to everyone? The big thing that I tell people is I want you to have your tanks working well in a very simple way because you can, you can keep, keep, take care of them simply and then enjoy RVing. It, because if your tanks aren't working right, you're not going to enjoy your RVing. But yeah. if your tanks are fine, you're just going to forget about them and just enjoy RVing. Don't have a shitty time. Keep your tanks clean. There's your tech tip. <laughs> All right, before you get to the bloopers, which is why you're here in the first place, the RV industry needs thousands of RV technicians and inspectors, and now is the perfect time to do that. If you want to make more money or have more control over your time, go ahead and click the link below. Or if you just want to learn how to fix your own RV, got something for you there. Head over to RVTechCourse.com and get started today. Now for the reason that you're at the end of the video, roll the bloopers. I'll see a lot of sludge that is the organic you know it's stuff that's just been it's maybe we're trying to say we're trying not to say shit. okay so there well i won't say that okay <laughs> so i said sludge all right you know i'm just waiting for the day you pulled out like a little barbie doll or something <laughs> I, I know, know or, but, or, or a little that, skeleton but... or something i mean yeah. I, and if i see that i'm grabbing it or just take all your dishes if you have a pet set it down on the ground first let the dog clean it let him lick it yeah I'm... why not yeah now Simple. the dogs are walking around like a big petri dish. There we go. Yeah, there we go. It's fine. Go ahead and go in and what'd you call it? Hydro blast. Hydro jetting. Yep. It's basically power washing the insides of your tanks. Mm. Sounds yummy. <laughs> <laughs> I got to bleep out two times now. Two times. <laughs> <laughs> At least they were from you, not from me. Uh, two. Number <laughs> yes, two. Yes, I heard that. Yeah. Hey, show and tell. <laughs> All right. So here I have a bottle. What looks like hard clay. What do we got here? This is struvite. This is struvite that, again, is off-gassing from human waste. So we basically create this. Yeah. And this has formed around the pipes right. that are related to the black and the gray Which tank. limits the diameter of the pipes. The problem that oh, we yeah. would have, and more so, is like when this begins to break off, just like this. And now you have your solids and everything else trying to get by them. So some people, not yeah. a problem. 